All right, man. So, uh, so here we are. We are just hanging at the house here. Uh, Autumn is at Bible study. The kids are asleep, so I gotta kind of keep my voice down a little bit. So I'm gonna be a little quieter than I normally am. And it's not because I'm not excited. It's just because I don't really want these kids to wake up right now. But I'm in here in the kitchen, just butchering up some chicken and uh, getting ready to go throw this out on the grill here in a minute. So I've only got a couple of minutes. But uh, road to the pros, man. Episode number one. Road to the Pros, segment number one, video log number one, call whatever you want. But I had a lot of fun back in August when I did those bodybuilding shows, kind of documenting the process, you know, every week. And so I thought, I'm going to start documenting the process of my turning pro right now. And so here's the deal. 2017, not doing any more shows this year. I mean, I'm way too fluffy to get back on stage at this point. 2018, not going to compete. I'm going to focus on the other things in my life that I really, really enjoy that mean a lot to me. Like my family, like my kids, like my wife, like church, like my faith, like my career, like all these different things. But then in 2019, I'm going to get back on stage. In 2019, I'm going to get back into the competition frame of mind. And I have three goals. Number one, I'm going to earn my pro card. I'm going to do that in 2019. Number two, I'm going to do well in a pro show, like top three, top four finish. Number three, I'm going to win a pro show. I want to step on stage against guys like Lane Norton and Cliff Wilson and Alberto Nunez and Jeff Nippard and all these guys that I look up to, that I've listened to, and I want to compete against them. And God willing, I want to beat them. God willing, I want to be the last man standing on that day. Now, is all this going to happen in 2019? Eh, hey, it might be a little ambitious. But I'm going to earn my pro card in 2019. I'm going to be in such good shape. I'm going to be in such good condition that when I step on stage for that first WNBF pro qualifier, I'm going to step on stage and the judges are going to say, all right, that guy, that guy just won it. Who's in second? That guy's your pro. Who are we going to give the silver medal to? Silver, silver, who are we going to give the silver medal to? Let's go with that. So that's it, man. November 9, 2017. I kind of want to start this new little series where I'm just going to, I don't know, every week, every couple of weeks, maybe a couple times every week, we'll kind of see, you know, the frequency that kind of unfolds. But I want to start documenting this process. I want to start documenting this process for a couple of reasons. Number one, when I first started competing back in 2001, I didn't know what I was doing, man. I mean, I was a total bonehead, man. I was just a total goober. Like, I thought I knew what I was doing. I had no idea what I was doing. And so I would get ready for, you know, my first couple of shows, you know, 10 weeks, 12 weeks, whatever. And I did okay, you know, meaning I got gorilla smacked. But in my own head, I did okay. But then over the years, I started taking it more and more seriously. I started taking it more seriously. I started devoting more time to my preparation. I started to devote, you know, more resources to my preparation. And I was just a lot smarter with how I did everything. And so as a result, you know, my performance, my results improved. And specifically, you know, the last shows that I did, these last couple in August, I mean, for me to win the novice class and then take fourth in the open, it was a huge accomplishment for me, man, because the show that I had done prior to that in 2014, when I made huge strides, I took dead last in the Open. I took 10th out of 10. So for me to take 4th out of 7, and then 2nd out of 4th in the two shows, the two Open classes that I did back in August, huge, huge accomplishment. But I want to start documenting this now because I'm kind of starting mentally to start putting, to start to put in the work that's going to be required, that's going to be necessary for me to achieve these goals. Of turning pro, doing well in a pro show, and winning a pro show. So, I'm in this for the long game, man. I'm not playing the short game anymore. I'm playing the long game. I'm going to do what needs to be done for these next, you know, 22 months to get ready to step on stage in 2019 to turn pro. Because, I'll tell you guys, man. And this is probably the last thing I'll, I'll bring up because I'll just get off, go off on these tangents and this will be a 30 minute video and the grill's heating up and I'm kind of anxious to get this chicken going. But for those of you guys that have followed me or followed my story, you already know this. But I was a big kid, man. I was big. I was made fun of. I mean, I was borderline obese for a lot of my childhood and young adulthood. 
and you know my family you see genetically were just predisposed to storing a lot of fat I mean that's just the hand that I was dealt and so for me to take that and to turn it all around and to turn pro in a natural organization would be such a huge accomplishment and it's not because I want to you know quit my job and like you know become this natural pro bodybuilder and all that kind of stuff that's not how it works I mean natural pro bodybuilding as anyone who follows it at all knows there's no money in that there's no career in that this is all about personal achievement this is all about personal development and for me it just you know man that would really really be something that would be awesome and so 2019 gonna earn my pro card 